Hey everyone, it's Jacob. Today we're going to be looking at the ice giants of the solar system, Uranus, the seventh planet from the sun, and Neptune, the eighth planet from the sun. These two frigid planets live out at orbital distances of 19 and 30 times the Earth-Sun distance. They're both about four times the size of the Earth in radius, and about 15 times its mass, but they're still considerably smaller than the gas giant planets, Jupiter being nearly three times as large. Within their cold outer atmosphere, most of their interior is taken up by a large mantle of warm, dense fluid, made mostly out of water, methane, and ammonia, which all rests above a solid rocky metal core. Uranus has the lowest internal temperature of any of the planets, barely radiating any more energy than it absorbs from the sun. It's thought the planet may have lost most of its primordial heat after it suffered a giant impact that knocked the planet 98 degrees on its side. This tilt gives the planet extreme seasons where the sun sometimes doesn't set for up to 42 Earth years. Neptune, on the other hand, was spared from such an impact, and is actually warmer than Uranus, despite being further away from the Sun. It's a much stormier planet, however, with some of the highest recorded wind speeds of the entire solar system, where it can gust up to 1300 miles per hour. That's nearly six times the highest recorded wind speed on Earth. Uranus and Neptune are also host to thin sets of rings made out of tiny little particles of ice as well as systems of small, icy moons. One of Neptune's moons, Triton, orbits the planet in the opposite direction of the rest, and may actually be a captured dwarf planet. Voyager 2 was able to make a close pass of Triton in 1989, and captured images of its cantaloupe-textured glaciers of water and nitrogen ice, as well as cryovolcanoes that erupted plumes of water ice, ammonia, and nitrogen instead of lava. Because of their extraordinary distance, Voyager 2 is actually the only spacecraft we've ever sent to the ice giants, and it may be a while before NASA confirms any future missions to them. There are a number of interesting proposals being researched, however, and I'm hopeful that within the next few decades, we may get to pay them another visit.